the first thing we do is an analysis, some research and analysis of where your brand is at in the top, particularly the top 30 we look at in the major search engines. Uh, we look at um, where, what, what other results are in the top 10, particularly that you may not want to have there. And we put together a strategy that really turns into a project plan where we will um, put tasks together to start that entire process of building out a campaign where you start to control the, uh, the top 10 by releasing sites, uh, digital information um, onto the web and then we, we uh, start to link to that so that you, you can uh, promote everything into the top 10. Well, the risks are enormous. Uh, people spend millions and millions of dollars building their brand um, and can be destroyed overnight by one malicious blogger. Um, let's face it, if you're in the business of customer service, it's unrealistic to expect that every single customer, every single time, will always be happy. So let's say that one customer that you, that decides they really don't like you no matter what you do, is very uh, internet savvy, they are a blogger, a prominent blogger, or they really know how to work the internet. That can be devastating because some that just that one individual can uh, can do a lot of damage to your brand by publishing what they think. Now, if, if you're a company that uh, does provide bad service and has uh, products that are inferior or services, then you need to fix that because no amount of online reputation management will fix a bad company. So that's the first thing you have to do, but certainly the risks are enormous. If you don't control that space, uh, it's very likely that somebody else may get information in there that could be very damaging. My honest answer is that you should never stop doing uh, online reputation management. It's really where the new PR is taking place. It's where you're, you should be focusing your public relations efforts because that's where people are really looking and making decisions. Uh, you often hear today uh, from celebrities, and we just had it with, unfortunately, for Tiger Woods, how fast the digital space takes over the news and starts to control the entire story. Uh, back in the old days, celebrities could mess up and it would get into maybe a newspaper or a magazine and it would go away. Nowadays, it never goes away. And that's the, that's the thing with um, the digital space is once information gets out there, it, it never goes away. So all you can do is try to control it and replace it with something that's more positive.